Hi folks, welcome to Bentley Advanced Materials. My name's Pete Tyndall and in this video I'm going to be taking you through the process of making a flat plate mould for silicon prosthetics. So as you can see by this pile of moulds here, the flat silicon pieces are generally in individual moulds. And in this video we're going to make a wound board, which is one large silicon pad with multiple moulds in there. This is really, really good if you want to build up a library of wounds. So we're going to go through the process. So obviously the first thing we need is a sculpture. And you can see here I've done a lot of sculptures on one single board. I'm not going to go too much into the detail on this video about sculpting, but just note the distance between each of the prosthetic pieces. This makes sure that we get enough space to have some dissolvable flashing. So the first thing we need to do is we need to take a solid piece of board to work on. This is useful if you need to move things around, then you can just pick the board up. We're going to make sure the board's nice and level and there's plenty of space around the edge to build these walls. So I've used styrene plastic from the model shop for these walls and actually for the plate that I sculpted on. We're going to use hot glue to stick them down, but you can use anything. Foam core works very well. Just try not to maybe use cardboard or anything like that. Cardboard is um, very porous material, so uh, if you do end up using cardboard, you're going to have to seal that. Whereas with a non-porous surface, then uh, your silicon just won't stick to it. So as you can see here, I'm just tacking these walls down with hot glue. I'm just making sure everything lines up. Once I've done that, we'll pop some more hot glue in and I'm going to go around all the edges where there's potential for silicon to leak out and make sure this is 100% sealed. Even though silicon's incredibly thick, it will find the smallest hole and will leak out of it. Once that's done, we'll let the hot glue cool down and in the meantime, we're going to apply some mold release. So the mold release I'm choosing to use today is Ease Release 200. It's a really good all round release. I'm also going to need a soft brush. This one is a makeup brush. So when applying the mold release, give the whole thing a light spray to start with and then take your soft brush and paint the mold release into all the nooks and crannies. This just ensures that we have 100% coverage. It's important to use a soft brush, as you can imagine if it was a hard brush, it would destroy your sculpture. You let that sit for five minutes. And then we're gonna go on with another final layer. Once that's done, we can put it to one side and we'll take a look at the silicon we're going to use. This is a trial kit. In all of these trial kits, what you'll find is the technical bulletin there and the component parts of the material you've bought. In this case, we've got equal parts A and B. And then also this technical bulletin gives you all the information you need to successfully use this material. So always read that. Just another thing to be aware of that all these bottles should be sealed with a foil seal. If those foils are broken or not stuck down, then give us a call in the office. The number is on the website. I'm going to dispense 300 grams of A, 300 grams of B, and I'm using these graduated cups. I've put the mark on there just so you can see it on camera. So I'm going to pigment the part B using some of this silicon pigment. And I'm just going to put a little bit, it doesn't take much. I'm going to thoroughly mix that into part B. And once I'm happy that's thoroughly mixed, we're going to get all parts together. So starting off with the part B, we'll pop that straight into this larger container. making sure I scrape all the edges, get that silicon out. Once that's done, we're going with part A. 
and again we're making sure we're scraping all that silicon out okay so that's both parts dispensed and it's time to uh, give it a good thorough mix so when mixing using a straight edged mixing stick in a straight edged cup is really important it means that we can get everything thoroughly mixed and we can also scrape the sides of the cup and the bottom of the cup and make sure it's all 100 percent mixed once that's done it's time to pour we're pouring from a height with a thin stream this will stretch out any bubbles and pop them and we're also pouring in roughly the same place which will allow the silicon to find its own way and rather than trapping bubbles it helps to just push bubbles out as it goes i'm going to leave that to cure for 30 minutes and we're almost there so we're going to demold this so we're going to pop off those walls If you've done a good job with the mold release earlier on, you should really be able to peel this mold off without damaging the sculpture. So there's the fresh mold and you can see it's picked up all that detail. It does need some cleaning up and trimming. Along with that, you can also see that the sculpture is intact. So let's get this trimmed up. So trimming these moulds is not an aesthetic thing, but it's also an important thing. If you've got lots of flashing everywhere, this is just going to hold on to excess silicone, excess cap plastic, and it's going to end up looking a bit of a mess and not working properly. So it's important to trim those. And uh, this particular bit here, it's important to trim that back to make sure the mould sits flat. We just need to give it a wash and we're almost ready. So for this I'm just using washing up liquid, a bit of warm water and a little cut down laminating brush there. I generally do this because it will remove any excess mould release and uh, any kind of bits of clay that might have found the way into the mould. pat that dry and then the final thing is just to give the whole thing a wipe down with some 99% isopropyl alcohol so once it's all cleaned up and the isopropyl has dried that's the mold making process complete so the next stage of course is to fill this mold with silicone and create some actual prosthetics and i'm going to cover that in the next video so it just leaves me to say thank you very much for watching i hope you've enjoyed it if you have please consider liking subscribing and sharing i shall see you on the next one and until then bye bye mm -hmm.